Hey everyone, welcome to the Dankest Dungeon. Today we're going to be playing with new commanders from the Thunder Junction Magic Set. I reckon we ought to mosey right along. Hey everyone, my name's Jason, and today I'm going to be playing Gisa the Hellraiser. I'm looking to commit as many crimes as possible to make as many zombies as possible. Hey guys, I'm here playing Roxanne. I'm not a good singer, so don't expect me to sing the song. Good morning, y'all. It's Jackson, playing Bonnie Paul, Clear Cutter. Hopefully today we play a lot of lands, make a really big cow, and then crush our opponents with it. Howdy, guys. It's Nate, and today I'm playing Kellen the Kid. The plan is to shoot first and ask questions later. Okay, everyone. Welcome. Let's go ahead and roll off. I got a nine. I got a nine. Eight. Four. Okay, me versus Brent. Come on, Brent. I got a seven. Wow. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. Oof. Could use the land. If this was a forest, because Soul Ring, Barcy, yeah, would have been fine. But <laughs> this is risky. Land is playable. I think I'm going to go to six. Going down to six. I might actually go to six as well. Jesus, guy. <laughs> I'll keep it six. That but is significantly worse. No. This just isn't working out. Yeah, I'm also going to go to five. I'm going to go to five. This is significantly better. <laughs> Mine is it. <laughs> I should have I kept that second hand. <laughs> I'm going to go to four. Oh, no. Come on, swamps. I see one, I see two, I see a mana rock. We're good. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're in it. Okay. Play swamp, pass. The only reason I kept this hand is to play the surveil land. I'm actually gonna keep that on top because it seems real good. Pass. I'm gonna play a paramorph expanse. Go, on your upkeep. Crack it, I'm gonna look for an island. Draw. We will play a flooded strand. We will draw first blood against myself, grabbing a Spara's headquarters. And I will pass. I will draw, play a swamp, pay two for a Bulwar Stone, pay one for a Divining Top. Yeah, that'll help you. Yep, I'll pass. Play this forest, to play the Sylvan Library, and then I'll pass the turn. I'm gonna play this forest. Sakura, Sakura Tribe Elder. Steve. Steve! And I will pass the turn. Play a Sun Petal Grove, enters the battlefield tap unless I control a forest or a plains, which I do. Gonna pay one for a ring, pay two, to foretell this card. You spelled foretell wrong. The prophecies have been fulfilled. But I don't know how to spell. Very good. During my upkeep, I'm gonna activate top. I'll play Swamp. I'm gonna pay one for a Hex Parasite. I can pay X and Black Phyrexian to remove up to X counters from target permanent. For each counter removed this way, Hex Parasite gets a little buffer until end of turn. I'll pass. Seven Library Trigger. I'm gonna take eight. Land my own fellow Warstone. And then I'm gonna play Compost. Whenever a black card is put into an opponent's graveyard, I may draw a card. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then I'll pass turn. On your end step, I'm gonna sack Steve. No, Steve. I'm gonna go get a forest. All right, on tap. Uh, I'm gonna pass turn. Ooh. So confident he doesn't even want to play a land. Yeah. That's it. We'll play a Rejuvenating Springs as my land for turn. Enters untapped because I have two or more ops. I will tap the Soul Ring for an Arcane Signet. Three to cast Kellen. 3-3 three, three with flying and lifelink. When I cast a spell not from my hand, I can cast a permanent spell with equal or lesser CMC from my hand without paying its mana cost. If I do not, I can put a land from my hand on the battlefield. I will pass. In your turn, I will activate top. I will play swamp. I will pay five. Gisa, the Hellraiser. She has a ward two, also pay two life. And skeletons and zombies in control get plus one, plus one, and have menace. And whenever I commit a crime, create two tapped, two, two blue and black zombie rogue creature tokens. This triggers only once each turn. I'm going to pay two life to remove zero counters from Kellen. I will make two zombies. Go ahead. Seven library trigger. I'm gonna take four. I'll play a mountain for turn. Five. Casting Roxanne. When Roxanne enters the battlefield or attacks, create a tapped colorless artifact treasure token named Meteorite. And when Meteorite enters the battlefield, it deals two damage to any target and tap add any one mana to my mana pool. It enters the battlefield tapped. Whenever you tap an artifact token for mana, it adds one yeah, more mana. Meteorite's a real card. Nobody ever plays this thing, so it's like <laughs> a cent. Two damage to Hex Parasite. I'm gonna lose two life to remove zero counters from Roxanne. Okay. And make two zombies. I will pass the turn. Uh, on your end step, I'm gonna pay three. Or a roiling regrowth. I'm gonna sacrifice this forest. Go get two lanes. The safe hero. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. 
Major Glor. Search for a forest. And I will pay the two life to have it enter up to out. And then I will pass turn. A three. Sword of Once in the Future. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and pro blue black. When equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, surveil two. Then I may cast an instant or sorcery with mana value two or less from my graveyard without paying its mana cost. I'm gonna pay two. I'm gonna equip Kellen with a Sword of Once in the Future. Jason. I'm going to smack you for your five in the air. Okay. I'm going to gain five. Trigger the sword. I'm going to surveil two. I'm going to pitch an arcane denial and a sage of beyond. And then I'm not going to do the other part. I won't pass. On tap. I'm going to pay one black to vampiric tutor. Okay. This card's going to go on top and then I will draw it. I will also draw. Pay two to feed the swarm there. Uh, yeah. And I will not draw a card because upon the resolves, this is not actually on the field. I will lose two. Gisa at Nate. She's a 4-4. Four four. Uh, the zombies will all come at Brent. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Or I'll leave one back. Block a zombie. And I'll pass. Dovin Library Trigger. Not taking any extra damage. Land for turn. City of Death. Winter's Battlefield, like create a treasure token. Two through six is create a token that's a copy of a target non-saga token you control. Cool. I committed a crime by shooting your uh, enchantment. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yep. So I should have gotten two more zombies last turn. Three visits. We'll find ourselves a forest card. Fiery Emancipation. <laughs> Glad I kept my blocker zombie. I'm gonna come at you on attack trigger. I'm gonna make a meteorite. You know, do six damage to your commander. Okay, 12, go to 28. Pass the turn. On your insta. Harrow. You're cheating. <laughs> Let's sacrifice this for it. I'm dead. Pay six. For Bonnie Paul. Clear cutter. Six five with reach. When Bonnie enters play, I make bow, a legendary blue ox. Beautiful art. This creature's power and toughness are equal to the number of lands I control. Currently six. Whenever I attack, I draw a card, then I may play a land card from my hand or graveyard onto the battlefield. Pass the turn. Untap. Okay. Draw. That doesn't do anything. I'll pass. I'm gonna pay one to activate Sensei's Divining Top on your turn. I will untap. All zombies turn into attack zombies. All right, Brent. 22 at you. <laughs> Oh, no, I didn't target you. Murdering someone isn't a crime. Nope. <laughs> yeah. It's not in even. Thunder Junction. Casting uh, murder, that's a crime. <laughs> removing player from the game, not, not a crime. crime. That's all I got. I cannot commit a crime this turn. A two. Zimone Quandrix Progeny. Pay one and tap to put a land in from my hand into play, or I can pay four and tap to draw a card. If I control eight or more lands, I draw two cards instead. I will go to combat. I will swing a 7-7 seven, seven bow at Jason. Okay, on uh, trigger you draw. Yep, I draw. Then I'm going to put this Terramorphic Expanse into play. I'll get down to 19. Two for uh, trade routes. I can pay one and return target land I control to my to its owner's hand, or I can pay one and discard a land to draw a card. I need some card draw. This feels bad. I'm gonna have a colorless flooding. I'm gonna flash in a Snapcaster Mage. What are you targeting? Arcane Denial. Thank you so much. I'm going to um, cling to dust, exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a creature, I gain through life, otherwise I draw a card. So I'll exile your arcane denial. I will make two zombies and I will draw a card. I'm gonna flash in an Aven Interrupter. When it enters the battlefield, exile target spell. I'm going to go ahead and exile my arcane denial. It becomes plotted. So my spell will fizzle. So I don't get to draw, but I get two zombies. Yep. And trade route, it centers play. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to give me some cards and you some cards with <laughs> Arcane Denial. I'm going to crack this Terramorphic Expanse, and then I'm going to pass turn. Jason, will smack you for four. Okay. I'm going to Doomscar, destroy all creatures. The zombie horde must die. I'm going to activate top to put a land on top. Stay go. <laughs> we'll just pay eight. Get Bonnie back up. I'm an arcade. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. No turn. On my upkeep, you draw two, I draw one from the arcane denial. Play a glacial fortress, my land for turn, enters untapped because I have a plains or an island. Five. We will cast Kellen. Pay two to give Kellen his fancy sword again. Aster. If you appreciate the content we're creating and you'd like to support us here at the dungeon, the number one way to do so is to sign up over on our Patreon page. 
Some of the Patreon benefits include access to our full deck lists, voting privileges for polls held over on our Patreon, and shoutouts at the end of every video to let everyone know how awesome you are. If money's tight and becoming a patron isn't the best option for you right now, we totally get it. Simply liking our videos or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, or commenting down below all help as well, and are totally free. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the game. Play Swamp. Pay seven for Yusa. <laughs> I'll pass. Nissa, who shakes the world. Whenever I tap a forest for mana, I can add an additional greed. I'm gonna play Jorea, voice of Zelfir. At the beginning of combat on my turn, up to one target land I control becomes an XX green blue bird creature token, or an act token, just a creature, with flying haste until end of turn, for X the number of cards in my hand. Whenever a land creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I draw a card. I'm gonna plus Nissa. I'm gonna turn this forest into a zero zero with three plus one plus one counters on it. Combats. I'm going to turn this forest into a green blue bird. Five five base with an eight eight flyer. Hit Jason for eight. Thank you, sword. Hit a player, I draw a card. Actually, I'm a float two. I'm gonna return a forest to my hand. I'm gonna play a forest for a turn. With the one floating and two green, I'm gonna play a Corsair Crucifix. Play with the top card revealed, and I will pass turn. Play an island for turn. I'm going to Rashmi, Eternity's Crafter. When I cast my first spell each turn, reveal the top card of my library. If it's a non-land card with CMC less than that spells, I can cast it without paying its mana cost. If I don't cast it, put it into my hand. Go ahead. Uh, during upkeep, I'm going to activate top. And I will draw, and um, I will pass my turn. Land for turn. I can make your creature have fear until end of turn, if you want to smack Nate. Yikes. <laughs> 10. I'll play Bonnie. Prophecy has been fulfilled. I saw it coming. I am going to counter target spell. Oh no! <laughs> Get out of here! Damn it! So, Rashmi trigger, cast my first spell each turn, reveal the top, so it's gonna go to my hand. Kellen trigger, put out a tribute to the world tree. When a creature ETB is under my control, draw a card if its power is three or greater. Otherwise, put two plus one plus one counters on it. Bonnie enters play. Make a bow. It's a 9-9. Nine -nine. Then, for a tireless provisioner. Whenever a land is play, I can make a food or a treasure. I'm a plus Nissa. This forest. Vigilance and haste. Beginning of combat, I'm going to target this. Make it a base 3-3 three, three flyer. So 6-6 six, six flying. All right. I'm going to pay one black for Aphotic Wisps. Target creature becomes black and gains fear until end of turn. I'll do your land. Awesome. And then I will draw a card. And I did a crime. Swing at Nate for 6. On attack trigger, I'm going to get into Terramorphic Expanse and draw a card. Terramorphic Expanse enters play, trigger, Corsair, and Provisioner. I'm going to make a treasure and gain one life. I'm going to sacrifice Terramorphic Expanse. I'm going to search my library for an island. Another land enter play, gain one more life, and make another treasure. And for two, use a treasure for Undergrowth Recon. At the beginning of my upkeep, I return target land card from my graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Pass the turn. Upkeep. Arcane Denial. Yep. Three. We're gonna cast a Bibble Thip, Lost on the Range, on cast, Rash me, putting a Mysterian Forest into my hand. Tribute to the World Tree trigger. Fibble Thip is just a tiny boy, so he gets two counters. Fibble Thip has Ward 2. I can look at the top card of my library at any time. The top card of my library has Plot. The plot is equal to its mana cost. I can plot non-land cards from the top of my library. Well, you're thinking I'm gonna activate top. We're gonna Farsi. We will grab a breeding pool, it'll enter tapped, plot a three visits. Play a Misty Rainforest, we'll hit the Misty Rainforest, grab Temple Garden, pass the turn. I'm gonna untap, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna pass. Upkeep, I put a land from my graveyard onto the battlefield tapped. I'm gonna choose this forest. Trigger Corsair and Provisioner, treasure, gain one life. I'm gonna plus Nissa, I'm gonna untap this forest. Eight for Kamal. At the beginning of combat on my turn, creatures I control get plus three, plus three, and trample on that turn. Let me know before you go into combat. You got a thing to do before combat? No, I, I just like to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gonna pay two. I'm going to turn this island into a 1 1 creature with vigilance, indestructible, and haste. Going to combat. Pre combat, we will deadly relic Kamal. Yep. I committed a crime. <laughs> I'll get two zombies. <laughs> Jason, you have upset me for the last time. Beginning of combat, Jarel trigger. I'm gonna turn this to a bird. Seven seven's going at Jason. Cool. I'm gonna swing the rest of the board at Nate. Attack trigger, I draw. In response to that attack trigger, I'm going to top. I will pay three, lose two life. 
to uh, destroy target creature. The uh, the guy who's gonna kill me. I'll kill him. Oh, cool. Terramorphic entered. You have a Corsair trigger and a tireless. Right. And then what are the biggest guys? That would be Bo, who's a 11-11. So block it with Cullen. 6-5 would be your next biggest. Rash me, you'll get thrown in front of that one. The tireless provision are all trade out with the flip. All right. Taking eight, gaining five because Cullen has lifelink, so taking three. I will pass turn. Art of the cards. Play a land for turn. Casting three visits. Kellen trigger. Put a forest under my hand on the play. Seven. Going to cast Alrun's Epiphany. I'm going to create two 1-1 one, one bird tokens with flying. And then I'm going to take an extra turn after this one. Enter the battlefield. Tribute to the world tree trigger. They are small boys, so they're going to get two plus one plus one counters. Go to combat. Jackson. I'm going to smack it for five. Ouch. Triggers. I'm going to gain five because it has lifelink. Sword trigger. I'm going to surveil two. Tatiova and a guardian project into the graveyard. Cast a three visits from my graveyard. Kellen trigger. Put a planes on the battlefield. I'm going to pay two for tail. This card in my hand. And I'm going to untap. Take my extra turn. Play a birds of paradise. <laughs> two plus one plus one counters because it's a tiny boy. I'll pass. I'm going to untap and draw. I'll play a solar ring. I'll top. Go ahead. On your end step. Great. Spray. Gonna go get a forest. Also in your end step. And touch right. Restoration. I'm going to sacrifice this island. Search my library for three lands because I have a creature with power four or greater. One forest, two islands. Turn begins. Upkeep. I put a land from my graveyard into play. I'm going to put this island into play. Gain one more life. And then I will draw. Forest for turn. Pay one. Discard this island. I'm going to draw a card. Five, six. Royal Elemental. Three, two, flying. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I may gain control of target creature for as long as I control Royal Elemental. I'm going to minus Nissa, who shakes the world. I get an emblem that says, lands I control are indestructible, and I may search my library for any number of forest cards, put them onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle my library. There's one. There's two. Dang it. I only have two more forces. Still not the worst, though. I will gain two life off of Corsair. I will steal Kellen. Also grab... Let's grab Gisa. As Ward, so pay two and two life. Okay. Shut down. He's yours now. Combat. Target land. Let's make it this one. Becomes a base 4-4 four, four with flying. Yeah, just send it my way. Yeah. Get it over with. That was everyone's going at Jason. All right. I will send the gang. Terramorphic will enter. I gain one life. I will steal a 3-3 bird. I will crack the expanse. I will grab an island. Steal the other bird. Nice. 14, 15. Not quite, but I still hit you really, really hard. Oh, you also um, targeted a stuff, so you committed a crime. I Congratulations. <laughs> uh, but then Jason dies. Yeah. I'm which out. means... I lose Gisa. I go to five, because birds will block bow. Uh, fast turn. Untap. Upkeep. Board what? Damn it. Go. <laughs> Upkeep. Put an island into play. Swing the boys. Damn it. <laughs> I got, got it. Cast. And Jackson is able to clear cut the rest of the table down, taking what few creatures were left from his enemies and then pummeling them into the dirt. Great job, Jackson, and I hope you all enjoyed that. See you all next time.